Hi guys, welcome back. I've been wanting to share the makeup look I've been wearing a lot recently. It's my soft glam look and this video actually came at a perfect time because I've teamed up with Look Fantastic and they stock almost all of my everyday makeup products. They're able to get 15% off most of the items featured in this video. So let's begin. I like to use a moisturiser just before I apply my makeup. That way it almost looks a bit more seamless and my skin looks more hydrated. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is really hydrating but it's not greasy at all so it is actually good if you have slightly oilier skin. I've been using this product for years, it's the Estee Lauder Illuminator Primer and I absolutely love it, it really gives my skin a nice radiant look and it really helps to keep my foundation in place all day and it makes it look more glowy. I've been wearing this product a lot on its own recently, I absolutely love it. It gives my skin a really glowy and radiant finish and it also blurs my skin so I really love to wear it on its own. But here I'm just going to use it on all the bits that I want to look really hydrated and highlighted. I'm going to be mixing it in with my foundation so it almost acts as a natural underlayer highlighter. I've been using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation for years now. I absolutely adore the finish. It's really flawless. It gives an almost satin-like finish to the skin without looking cakey or heavy. So it feels really lightweight. So I actually really like to wear this in summer as well as winter. They also have a really wide range of colours and undertones so if you're someone of a warmer complexion that generally struggles to find their foundation colour, this is a really great brand to look into. For any discoloration, I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW45 just to try and counteract that darkness. I've fallen in love with this concealer again, it used to be my holy grail once upon a time. It's so brightening and radiant under the eyes and I suffer from quite dark circles recently, so it really helps to counteract that. I've also picked up on a new trick, which I will admit is from TikTok, and I apply the concealer in a straight line going up from the outer corner of my eye. This really lifts my eyes and makes it look brighter and more awake. You'll instantly see that my eyes look a lot more lifted and brighter and it also helps to conceal that darkness I have just in the corner of my eye. As I've put on quite a bit of concealer and I want it to have that holding power last me through the day, I will set it in place with some powder. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. This is a really nice lightweight powder, it doesn't feel heavy at all. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you would have seen this product already. It's my favourite bronzer of all time. It's a perfect tone, it doesn't look muddy at all, it looks really bronzy and glowy. And I'll just put this onto the hollows of my cheeks, around my jawline and around my temple. This will help to sculpt my face and just give me some cheekbones. I really like a warm nude blusher, so I'm using the Laura Mercier blush colour in Fresco. This is a really nice warm earth toned blusher that I think looks really nice and it helps to give that bronzy look to my skin. It's almost sun kissed and it makes me look like I've been on holiday. Next up for brows, I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I've used this for a long time because I have quite thick brows and this will help just to fill in the little sparse areas. Obviously being in lockdown, I haven't managed to have my eyebrows done. I've been trying to do them at home. I'm just going to try and add a little bit more shape to my brows without it looking too blocky. With it being quite warm outside, I want to make sure my eyeshadow stays in place and I have quite oily eyelids. I'm using the NARS eyeshadow base in medium. I have this in a few different colours, they look really great on their own and honestly they make your eyeshadow stay in place the whole day, it does not budge at all. I have been loving this palette recently, especially this colour. It's a really nice warm brown tone that is almost skin-like, so it just gives quite a natural shadow and definition to my eyelids. I'll use the same colour across my lids, so I'll pat it onto my lids and then I'll also blend that into the crease. I absolutely love a smoky eye. This is quite a natural smoky eye, so you can actually get away with doing this quite subtly in the daytime, and it looks really nice like a natural smoke. I feel like you can't go wrong when you're playing with quite light neutral tones, so this is a really easy way to get into eyeshadow colours. I will also just smudge this along my lower lash line. I was in the mood for a bit of shimmer and a bit of highlight today, so I'm using this colour and I'm just patting it across the centre of my eyelids. This will really help to make my eyes look more awake and brighter. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Whiskey and I'm running that along my lash line. Now I absolutely love to do this on its own with just some mascara 
and it looks really nice but with this being a makeup look and a soft glam look I'm going to add a bit more definition and drama. I've been doing this for years, I almost feel like it's my comfort blanket, but I use MAC Coffee Eye Pencil and I will create a wing across my eye. And I want to make sure I have quite a bit of definition on the inner corner. This will prevent the smokiness from closing my eyes up. Normally I would say it doesn't have to be too neat, but in this case I think that definition is really nice. But I'll smoke out the outer corner. I don't like my makeup to look too done and too polished. I really like the smoky, subtle look. So I will just always smudge my eyeliner if I have done a wing. I can't believe I've gone so long without curling my eyelashes. This is quite a recent thing that I've been doing. But it really helps to keep my eyelashes looking more lifted. I'm going in with my favourite mascara, this is the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Mascara and I really love how full and how lifted they make my eyelashes look. I'm using the waterproof version as well so they're going to really have holding power for the whole day. It's not everyone's cup of tea but I really like to put mascara on my lower lashes too, this just makes it look really smoky. I'm then adding some definition to my lips. I'm using the Natural Collection Lip Pencil in Espresso. This is going to make my lips look fuller and more defined. I've been loving this lip colour recently. It's by Morphe and it's called Coffee and Kissy and it's a really nice peachy nude colour. I think it really complements and works with the earth tones of the entire look. It just brings everything together. So guys, that's the makeup look. You guys have actually been asking for me to do one of these for a long time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do recreate this look. I would love to see it. And I'll see you all in my next video.